What's up YouTube? Today I have what will hopefully be a short video. Um, this is going to be kind of a, a video on how to jump start your GoPro. Um, a lot of you may know, I guess if you're watching this video, that the Hero 3 has a bit of a design flaw where if it runs out of batteries, for some reason you can't charge it if the battery is completely dead. What happened to me was the Wi-Fi. I was using the Wi-Fi and it wouldn't turn off and normally what you just do is you take the battery out but I was kind of too lazy to do that so I just figured you know whatever I'll just let it die and then it'll turn off when the battery's dead and then plug it in but what I didn't know is that when the battery goes completely dead it won't charge I've, I've plugged it into my computer and I've plugged it into the wall charger and a, a couple different computers and wall chargers and nothing seems to work I've tried with the battery out take everything out and plug it in and then put the battery in I've tried the whole holding down the shutter button and plug it in and then push the mode button and then put the battery in and nothing nothing works I can't get it to turn so on. So what you can try if you um, have this issue where it doesn't turn on even if it's plugged in with the battery in it is you can just put a, a second battery in it but I don't have another battery and I don't have time to go so, get uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the battery out. And as you can see on the top we have positive and then the middle is probably ground I'm not too sure it says T I don't really know what that means but then on the left we have um, uh, negative so we got negative and positive and then right here are the contacts so what I'm hoping to do is just take I'm not, sorry I don't know why this won't focus but I'm I'm gonna take the uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get it get this spare USB cord which we'll plug into the computer and it'll be about five or five volts I believe so that's a little bit too much but you know I'm not gonna use this only for like a minute just to get it to turn on I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, cut the end of this USB cord off this I don't really need this USB cord because I've got dozens of these if you don't have a spare you can just go to like the dollar store and get another one I wouldn't recommend doing this to your only USB cord if, if you only have one but I'm not too worried about it so I'm gonna go ahead and separate those wires okay so as you can see I've used my wire strippers and I just stripped the end off the USB cord and we've got a black and a red wire which are reds positive blacks negative and then green is for ground and then white is for data so we're gonna cut these uh, green and white cords right off because we don't need those we just need positive and negative and then I'm just gonna strip the end of those so I can get a contact and then put the positive which is going to be the inside contact so the red wire is going to go the red wire is going to go into that terminal closer to the middle and then the black one is going to go into this terminal closest to the edge and then I'm going to leave it on there for about a minute and put it in the GoPro and plug the GoPro into the computer and see if we can get enough juice to get it to start charging okay so I've held my little uh, jump starting operation thingy on there for about a minute I'm not sure if that's gonna be long enough that's not really uh, a lot of juice but hopefully it'll be just enough I, it's not a very it's it's a little bit too much of a, a charger it's about a volt higher than it should be so uh, hopefully it'll just be just enough to get it to start so I've got my little anchor USB power brick uh, plugged into the GoPro charger and the GoPro charger plugged into the GoPro so we're just gonna stick the battery back in it and see what happens there we go that's what we're looking for charging light good news so uh, uh, this should work fine now I'm gonna hang on to this and try not to let the battery go dead ever again because that stinks so um, I would recommend that you uh, try this. You don't need uh, too much electrical knowledge, but try it at your own risk. You know, you could damage your battery by doing this uh, if you keep it on there for too long or whatnot. Make sure you're using like a USB cord. You don't want to put anything more than five volts onto this, but it does work and it saves you the trouble of going to buy a new battery because um, I don't want to have to buy a new battery. Um, so. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. You can leave them in the comments. And if you want to subscribe, that would be awesome. Thanks for watching.